Okay, in this video, I'm going to go on a little different tangent here. Something a little different. Uh, you see this pattern here. I've uh, been experimenting with AI. Uh, now, I'm not computer illiterate. I own my own computer shop for a while, built and sold computers, service computers, set up networks, ran CAT5 cable routers. I did a little bit of everything. I worked as the ID depart IT department in a small, in the office of a small manufacturing plant here in town. Completely rescaled their uh, network and upgraded everything. And I was a computer, was the administrator. I also was, like I said, as a small office. I was also an accounts receivable, accounts payable, did the invoicing and a whole lot of other things. I had many hats, but I was the computer guy. So I'm not computer illiterate is my point, but AI is something I've never messed with much. So I've been playing with it a little bit, see if I could create scroll saw patterns with it. And it is a learning process. I didn't have much uh, luck with it. AI wants to create an image. You can get in, might take an image and make a computer uh, scroll saw pattern out of it, but I wanted the AI to create the pattern. So I played with, this was out of a uh, Microsoft Copilot. And I played around with it a little bit, and it gave me a prompt. They suggested a prompt for me to put in, and I put it in, and this is what it gave me back. So I think I'm going to cut it. And it's, it's on a piece of mahogany, quarter-inch mahogany. And I've got another one I'm going to do later. i got to do a little more refining on it. It's a Christmas tree. I asked for a Christmas tree. And it's a learning process. You have to learn it, and it has to learn you. And, and everyone's a little different. I've played with two or three of them. But uh, this is probably the closest to a good pattern I've gotten so far. So anyway, I'm going to drill all these. And I'm going to cut this out. Now I've got the, I've got the grain running this way because you've got a lot, of, a lot of the stuff going in this direction. And the only thing, you got all these areas that could be fragile if you're not careful here. Uh, that just goes out unattached. I mean, it'll look nice if you can get it to cut without breaking it. I think I can. I got the grain running that way. Uh, you got areas like this. You have to be careful cutting. Make sure you finish the cut at the base, not out on the end where you might break it off as you're cutting. Uh, you got two here, one here, one there, and maybe more that I haven't spotted. But anyway, I'm going to try to cut that with a number three. It's fairly soft wood. I could cut it with a five, but I'm going to go with a three on it. Uh, so I need to drill a bunch of holes, get it over the saw, and see what, if I can make it look like anything.
Okay, so I've got it cut out and I've uh, airbrushed it with some thinned down polyurethane. I really like the way it's looking. Mahogany can look pretty good when you get it finished. So I was trying to figure out what to do with this, whether to hang it like a Christmas tree owner and put a hole in it and hang it or mount it on something. My wife suggested putting it on this adhesive mirror that I have. So this is the mirror. It still has a protective cover on it. I've mounted it to a quarter inch board. I think it's a piece of ash. It's just a piece of scrap I had over there. <clears throat> and I'm going to use CA glue. It's got a little bit of cup in it, so I'm going to have to work it just right. We'll use CA glue, or try to, and glue that on there. And then I'm going to go and cut around the perimeter with the, with the scroll saw and match it up. And if it works, I'll take credit for it. If it doesn't work, I'll blame my wife. So I'm covered either way. Anyway, here I go. I'm going to try this. Okay, well, I got that done. It's cut out. Got a hanger on it. I put a little bit of a coat of on the on the outside with the airbrush, and I blew the dust out with the dry airbrush. Get it out of that mirror. Uh, I'm somewhat pleased with it. It's kind of an interesting little little project. I've got a couple of more AI generated patterns I'm going to do, and I'm going to experiment with that with some more. I think. Uh, as a learn, I can make some really interesting stuff there. Uh, this was just an experiment to see if I could even get one that looked okay. And that's okay. I'm not crazy about it. It's not super good, but it is different. If you like that, hit the like button and stay tuned for what comes next. And so uh, subscribe and sign up for all notifications so you know when they come out. Uh, probably do another one before this week is out. This is early in the week. I'll get this up, hopefully. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.